Hey everybody, it's Josh from Big Goose Home Tours. We are here in the Beverly Groves Mellows District. I actually saw this house at a broker caravan and I thought, you guys have to see this house. It is a stunner. It is one of the most beautiful houses I've seen in a long time and I wanted to show it to you. And some of the things I like about this house is it's the location, it's all one level, it has tons of rooms. It even has, I would consider, an extra bonus room separated from the house. So we're gonna go ahead and show you this house, but before you watch the rest of this video, do me a big favor, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and hit the notification bell to be notified on future videos. So let's get into this house now. Oh, and one more thing, sorry. The property link will be in the description. So if you want, if you're interested in this, the realtor's uh, website for this house will be in the description. We're gonna go inside this beautiful uh, home here in the Melrose Beverly Grove District. You can see it's a nice and beautiful front yard area. It has a gate. You do have uh, plenty of ample parking. In fact, the parking goes all the way down the side of the home if you want. But let's go ahead and get into this property. If you notice as you're walking in, look how beautifully manicured they done with the gardening here. Really nice entryway for this home. Now, like I said, one of the things I really like about this home is that it's one level, which means that the vast majority of the uh, home is usable square feet. So this is the exterior of the home. One of my subscribers said, go move a little slower. So I'm gonna try my best today to go a little slower, to, to pan in on things a lot slower. So we're gonna inside the house here. And when you walk in, we're gonna pan to the right. Look at this gorgeous entryway. You walk in and you're immediately met with a beautiful living space. So this is the living space. You could you put a TV here. You could probably do a lot of things in this space, but actually I like the way it is now. And one of the things I want you to notice is that it has recessed lighting. It has a working fireplace. It has beautiful woodwork around the fireplace. It looks like it's a marble or granite they put around the fireplace. Beautiful plantation shutters on the windows. Plantation shutters give you complete privacy and darkness when you want your room to be dark. Crown molding, and it does look like the house comes with, um, it looks like there's a speaker system, a surround sound speaker system. And I guess, I don't know, I don't know if that's like a TV or some type of screen comes down, but something comes down there. I'll have to ask later what that is. And then you got your closet space. Looks like you got a, it has a security system. I do believe the people are still living here. So there is people's stuff because I think this is actually somebody's home currently. And so we're gonna move on here and we're gonna go into what, this is what would be your formal dining space. Or you could make this not your formal dining space, but this is the dining space off this beautiful, gorgeous kitchen. And this is probably one of the better kitchens I've seen in quite some time. Um, I really, really like this kitchen. It has, one of the things I noticed right away when I walked in is the woodwork, the countertops, this, the center column. I'm assuming they're gonna leave that. Um, up there you have, uh, if you have any display stuff you want, you have plenty of stuff on the top area for display glasses or stuff you wanna show off. This has a six burner stove. And a beautiful sink. Let's look at the sink here. Let's go over here. So I'm going to show you this wonderful sink. Gorgeous, wouldn't you say? And then I'm going to surprise you. You ready? You also have a very beautiful breakfast nook. So this is additional space here where you can have non-formal breakfasts, coffee room, a place to work. If you wanted to work in here, you could turn this into whatever you wanted to. But this is gorgeous. Look how, look how they did the seats here. I mean, this is... This is really, really spectacular. They even put the, the cushions back there. It's just so nice. I haven't seen something like this in a while, and I love the green. I love how they put the wallpaper in here. Recessed lighting. Once again, you have crown molding all the way around the edge. All the lights here have uh, you know, really nice light switches, uh, very tall baseboards, and I think this is storage. Let's check it out. I think this is a storage. Yep, you got storage underneath the whole thing over here. So all the way down there's storage underneath that seat. Really excellent. Really gorgeous kitchen. I don't think you could ask for a better kitchen because one of the things I always tell people when they look for homes is look at all the storage space. Do you get storage? Do you have stuff to put your stuff in? <laughs> Do you have shelves to put your stuff in? Sorry. Do you have shelves to put? And so far this kitchen is checking more than all the boxes. I would probably have to add a couple boxes to check 
when it comes to storage for this kitchen. So we're gonna move on out of the kitchen now and we're gonna go into the guest powder. And actually the guest powder has a full bathroom. It has a shower, a toilet, beautiful sink. Look at the beautiful tile floors. Really gorgeous. Whoever did this has really wonderful taste. I really, really like the taste of this palette. Nice wallpaper, really tall kitchen, the bathroom. I'm not gonna go into showers. I know you're like, are you gonna go shower? No, I'm not gonna shower because I think the people are living here, so I don't wanna put my shoes on their shower, but this is the shower, really gorgeous. Um, let's check out what's in this closet. I didn't look here. Oh, you got a nice closet here. A great place for vacuuming, clean supplies. This is exactly what they used it for. We're gonna close that. And then we're gonna turn around and we have the laundry closet. Laundry closet here. Yep, and there's definitely people living here because there's laundry in there. So we're gonna close that. And we're gonna go into the first bedroom. And look at this bedroom. Gorgeous, right? Really, really, really nice. You know, here in this room, they, the crown molding is now matching the plantation color. Uh, the color of the plantation shutters matches the crown molding and really nice baseboards. The doors are all upgraded. All the hardware's upgraded. Really nice hard, hardware. These are things that when you're buying a house, you look at it. How's the hardware? How's the, the window coverings? Did they do the crown molding? Are the doors framed? The doors are framed. Is the, door, the framing nice? This is a closet. Let's see what's in here. And you can see it's a really big closet. I don't wanna show you too much because it looks like it's, you know, obviously they're living here. So we're gonna close that. But really, really nice. You got multiple plug at one, two, three, four plug outlets, five plug, five plug outlets in this one room. Really good. I'm sure it might be some behind the bed. So, you know, really nice things to have. And we're gonna open this closet. Here's another storage place. A nice linen for all your towels and stuff here. We'll close that. Once again, if you notice, really nice upgraded doors, nice upgraded hardware in this property. And like I said, you notice one thing, it's, we're gonna do a quick loop. It's all one level. When you have a one level home like this, that's you know, done right, all the square feet's usable. It's not a, you're not wasting a lot of it on stairs. And then we're gonna go into another bedroom here. So it's a, you know, it's a three bedroom home, four full bathrooms. This is uh, one, the, another, this is not the primary bedroom, but another bedroom. And it's really gorgeous here. This one does not have plantation shutters. But uh, it does have recessed lighting, has plenty of plugs. Uh, let's go check out the bathroom. Has a smart mirror in the bathroom. If you can see right there. Hi, everybody. <laughs> you see right there, it has a smart mirror. I have not seen, this is the first time in all the homes I've seen. I, I work in the escrow title business. I haven't seen a smart mirror. So this is the first smart mirror I've seen. I don't know what it can do. And now I'm gonna have to look up what smart mirrors do. But look how gorgeous this bathroom is. Really. Whoever designed this home really spent time with really beautiful details. The tile work, the, the, the black, you know, making sure the tile goes all the way up. I mean, they didn't, they didn't at all chintz on any of the upgrades in this particular house at all. I don't see anything that I would say is at all. I mean, this house is really, you can just move in tomorrow. I mean, this is one of those homes where you buy it. If you like the style like I do, it's moving ready. You can move in. And got another big closet space here. Let's see here. Very big closet. And I'm there you can see. And it's being used, so we're not gonna get too nosy here. But I wanted you to see the closet. And now we're gonna go into the primary bedroom. And this is a really beautiful primary bedroom. I mean, really look at it. When you when you walk in, you feel relaxed. You feel relaxed because you can see out to the backyard. It's a very big lot for you know the price of this is you know, 2400000 and change. This is a beautiful uh, lot. It's big, it's deep. And this primary bedroom, you look out to the, your backyard. You can see they spent a lot of money on this built-in here. And once again, the built-in, you have tons of storage here. So you have the, you know, you got both sides that open up. You know, you got, I'm not gonna open them all. I feel like I'm being too sn snoopy, but you get it. There's that side opens, you got all the drawers. You got shelf space up there. You got a place for your TV. Beautiful curtains, wonderful curtains. Crown molding in this room all the way around. Um, really spectacular primary bedroom. 
I mean, I don't think you could do anything better to this room. I really like the, what they did. They got a gorgeous rug. I don't think the rug comes with our furniture, but you never know. You can always ask them what they'll, what they would do, what they get, what they include it. Now, this is the primary bathroom, and man, this is this is like a bathroom for most people, including myself, of dreams. I mean, look at the tile work, the mosaic tiles on the the ground, uh, the beautiful kitchen, the the hardware fixtures in the bathroom. They're you know brass. They look gorgeous. This you one thing you got dual sinks here, so you got Jack and Jack, Jack and Jill, Jill and Jill. So you know you have it. You know, got plenty of storage here. You got plenty of drawers here for any storage. You have a beautiful tub, really, really nice. And this, this is really nice. Uh, you know, a lot everybody puts a topper on this, like the tub. So I really think they did a spectacular job with the window. And the reason there is no um, window covering is because you cannot see in here from all we'll around the side. I'll show you. There's no way for anybody to look into this bathtub. And then you got the toilet. It's going to go up, up. See, look, smart toilet. It sees I'm here. It automatically knows I'm a guy and opened up the, <laughs> opened up the top. I really think that's quite, quite cool. But there's a controller here. So they have a smart bathroom and then they have the walk-in closet. This is a walk-in closet and it's gorgeous. Really nice. Lots of room. And then you can, we're going to give you one look. I really, really like this bathroom. One of the better bathrooms I've seen in a long time, especially for a home this size. Really did a great job uh, making it. Now we're going to head off into the backyard. And we get back to the backyard. A really beautiful, peaceful space. Now, one of the things that you have to notice is that there's lots of trees covering the other properties. It gives you a lot of privacy when you're back here. Not complete privacy, but you got a lot of privacy back here. That is the other bonus room with its own kitchen and everything. So we're gonna go, go in there in a minute, but I wanna show you, here's the, the French doors for the primary bedroom. It has nice, beautiful steps. Notice the, the stone they use out here with the astroturf, so you don't have to worry about watering. Is that, see what I said, that, that window that we're gonna walk back here? That bathroom window, there's no way, there's nothing up there. Nobody, there's nothing up there. I'm looking. It'd be really tough for somebody to see there. But you can always cover the window. All right, let's get out of here. And now we're going to look at this gorgeous backyard. Really, really nice. And you, you could put up probably a jacuzzi back here. If you really wanted, you could probably build a pool. Um, you know, you can do a lot of things out here. Let's go into the bonus room. I'm assuming at one time this was a garage, but it's been turned into a bonus living space. You have a kitchen area, a living area. I'm sure that probably turns into a bed. You got the TV, you got your own separate air conditioner unit for this, which is really cool. And then let's go check out the little kitchenette you got a fridge here you got your own sink and an electric stove and microwave and you got storage now when you're in a bonus a bonus unit like this you're not going to have a ton of storage i mean it's it's a bonus room so this could be a room where you, if you wanted to have parties you could turn this into you know where all your supplies and food will be set so people don't you know go in your house and then you have A really full bath, a really cool full bathroom for a bonus room, full shower, you know, toilet, a sink, and this is like, you know, this is actually nicer <laughs> than a lot of condo bathrooms or homes I've seen that are, you know, that are for sale that are where people really live. So let's take another look at it from now, uh, another perspective. Oh yeah, and earlier I told you that you could park cars all the way on the side of the hill, so you could use this whole space you can park one two you could probably pick about four cars down this pathway if you wanted to if you had multiple cars that you need to park here so that, that gate opens up and there's a more of a driveway there let me show it to you real quick i know i got sidetracked i'm going to show you the bonus room but let's go and you can see this could park multiple cars now you're not going to be able to park a humongous car here but i know a lot of cars will fit in this space 
So let's go down back here and once again, the gorgeous bonus room. I really like that. that. That could be great for when you have guests, visitors, maybe you could Airbnb it. All right, <laughs> that's the tour of this gorgeous home. Remember the link to the property will be in the description. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions for content, which will, will only be homes, of course, <laughs> let me know what you think I could do better. I always like improving. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you. Uh, oh, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Did I say that already? I'm saying it again if I just said it. I'm saying it again. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next home tour. Bye.